Now that we have access to the Power Apps creation environment, it's time for us to start building our first app. Let's see what's the app that we are going to be building in this class. The app that we are going to build is an address book app. It's an application to facilitate searching and maintaining the company's contact lists. We are going to use this app to register, search, and update contacts. Imagine someone is at the field and needs to find a contact really quick and doesn't have a centralized point to search these contacts. Or maybe the contacts are stored in a Excel file somewhere. Uh, we are going to build an app just to make it easier for everyone to find and maintain these contacts. First, before building the app, just out of our minds, we need to plan the app. It's very ideal, it's very important to plan your app ahead so you know what you're going to build in the end and also for future when you need to maintain the app. So right now, I have created this process where I have four or five steps where we answer some questions and plan the app before st start building. First thing we need to answer is what problem will we solve? If we are not going to solve any problem, the app doesn't need to exist. So first we need to figure out what are, what's the real problem. In this case, it's the difficulty of finding the co-worker's phone, phone number, extension, email, and etc. while outside our computers. Uh, in this app, we want to facilitate access to the information, make it easier to look up numbers, facilitate registration and updating. Imagine doing this in your smartphone while instead of needing to go to a spreadsheet or somewhere else in the computer, you can do from your smartphone and also facilitate the use of this number, providing quick access to open a fo the phone app or WhatsApp app directly from the Power Apps app. How this app will be used? Based on what I talked previously, this app is going to be used on cell phones to communicate with colleagues from your company. So we are going to build this app using the phone format. But this app can also be used inside the computer if someone wants to use it in the computer. But the format will be the phone format. Okay, now that we know what problem we are going to solve and how the app will be used, we need to know how the app will look like. So the next step is to draw the interface, do some mockups so we know what we are going to build when we will start doing it. This video is sponsored by the support of my subscribers who like and comment on the videos. This class is part of a full course I have on Udemy, where I teach beginners how to build their first apps. So if you want to ensure lifetime access and see the entire course, I suggest you to join me on Udemy. If the course isn't for you, that's okay, but I kindly ask you to show your support by liking this video and subscribe to this channel. Your engagement means a lot to me and motivates me to continue creating valuable content like this. Now, let's get back to the class and continue learning together. And this is the mockup I created for our app. We have four screens right now. The first one is just a loading screen. Just when someone opens the app, they will see this loading screen with some general information. Then the app will go to the home screen where we have our actions. So we have two buttons here. One to find contacts that will lead to this other screen where we have the search, the filter, and the gallery of contacts with some actions in the bottom. And the other button will lead to the new contact screen, the new or added contact screen, where we are going to be able to create new contacts. This screen will also be used to edit contacts. So for example, if someone selects one contact here from the gallery, we are going to click on edit and then this form will be filled with the user's information so we can edit some of them and then save back to the data source. Now that we know what the app looks like, we are able to plan our data source. Data sources can be an Excel file, a SharePoint list, databases, Dataverse, 
uh, anything that can store data and connects to Power Apps. In our example, we are going to use Excel as a database because most of you know Excel. So, and you want to start learning Power Apps. I don't want to go to SharePoint or to a database to make it more difficult. Let's start with the basics. Let's learn how to use the Canvas app, how to create the app and use this Excel table just to connect and have some place to store the data. But in the future, once you're going to create something real for your company, it's better to use a SharePoint list or a database. Excel, uh, I recommend only use for learning that this is the case because Excel is not a very good da data source. We cannot even consider a data source. It has a lot of limitations when comparing with the others. But for learning, it's perfect, it's easier, everyone has access. So let's stick with Excel for this app. Okay, based on the mockups, we can see that some fields are necessary here for our app to work, for example, the name, the email, phone, department, and comments. And based on here, so once we created this mockup, we have an idea of what's the data we need. So that's a very important step, build the mockup so we see what we need, and then we start planning the database. Here, based on the mockup, I saw that we need this list here, this table, with the name of the person, the phone, department, email, and comments. We are going to use all text columns right here. Uh, but if it was a number such as age or uh, a number for a currency, for example, we could have used numbers. We could have used dates to store date of birth and so on. But right now, let's keep simple and use texts. For the department, I want to have a list of departments. So we have a second table that's called TB department with the name of the department. So we have only, only one column with the name of the department. First thing, we are going to build this one, start constructing the app, and later we are, we are going to need this second list and we are going to go back to Excel and build the second table. Now that we know that we are going to connect to Excel, where are we going to put this Excel file? We are going to see in the next class that we are going to use OneDrive and I'm going to provide more details, explaining this a little, a little more. And also we are going to create our Excel spreadsheet and prepare it to be used inside Power Apps. So I see you in the next class.